Damn, these are expensive. We can do better than that. Hey guys, a burnout oven is a really useful bit of kit, especially if you're into lost wax casting and lost PLA casting, or even if you're looking for a pottery oven, though they're not cheap. But you can make one much cheaper, especially if you make use of a programmable PID. Today I'll be converting my electric furnace into a burnout oven. I'm going to be taking a quick look at the Cal 9500P unit and showing how it can be used to step, ramp and soak, which are extremely useful functions. Now I'm not going to be telling you how to make an electric furnace here, because I've already covered that in other videos, and for this tutorial you will need an electric furnace. I made my electric furnace out of grade 28 insulating fire bricks. Again they're not cheap, but they're nice and light and easy to work with. Cutting these precisely is simple if you follow my short video guide. Next you'll need heating elements, resistance coils. Now you can buy these, but you'll save a bundle on much better quality if you make your own. I used canthal wire and made my coils with a simple jig. Look out for the video tutorial on coil elements, where I show you how to build the jig and use it. I also cover all that nasty maths, and make it easy with my free online calculator. Building the furnace is much easier than you'd think. You really don't need any building skills or a certified electrician to do this. Just common sense and a safe working practice will do the job. And these video tutorials cover everything in full. Now I was a little ambitious when I built my furnace. I incorporated a lifting mechanism to raise the furnace for easy crucible access. But this isn't really necessary. A simple box construction would do the job for you, with a lid made out of lightweight insulation material. I run my furnace with a simple PID controller, and it still works great. Tap in the temperature and sit back and wait. But burnout ovens need much more control. This can be affordably achieved with a Cal 9500P process controller. There are other units out there, but this is the one I went with. Again, it's not cheap, but with a bit of shopping around I got mine from here, and it's a great price with excellent service. It's a 1 16th DIN controller, so it fitted perfectly into the opening left by my old unit. Wiring it up is an absolute doddle with these screw terminals. And the wiring was basically the same as with my other PID, with only the terminal numbers changing. I will admit the instructions baffled me a little initially, but I did get there. For my purpose, the initial configuration of the unit went like this. Input type for me was a Type K thermocouple. I know that doesn't look like a K, but it actually is. My unit preference is Celsius, though Fahrenheit and other units are available. The main output is a solid state relay, so I chose SSD for solid state relay driver. And that was as much information as I needed to put in. So I ignored the unit for 60 seconds as I puzzled over the manual, and thankfully it took itself back to the default display. What it now needed was a program. The Cal 9500P allows up to 31 programs to be stored, and each program can be thought of as a burnout sequence. This is the recommended burnout sequence for the investment plaster that I use, so this seemed an obvious choice for my first program. From the default display, press the up and down arrows at the same time for 3 seconds. Now down arrow, start and down arrow for level P, which is how we add programs. 
up arrow and this is program one which is perfect so up arrow now run is exactly what it sounds like should the run program be on off or on hold the default is off and we'll keep to that so up arrow fail is in case of power outage and what should the unit do next so for now i'll select continue i'm not interested in this or this but seg1 is needed each action can be thought of as a segment a doing point if you like the very first thing we need to do is get the temperature up to 230 degrees within an hour now we could ramp this but it's not indicated as being necessary so i'll start with a step so type is step the temperature of that step is 230 eop i'm not interested in that's segment one finished the first instruction so let's add segment two well on the diagram a three hour soak is recommended here so type is soak the soak interval or duration is three hours which is 180 minutes eop still not interested add another segment and this time we want to ramp the temperature all the way to 730 degrees but importantly at a rate now faster than 150 degrees an hour so type is ramp the ramp rate per hour is 150 and the target temperature is 730 HPU and ELP I am not interested in so it's on to the next segment the diagram tells us once we're at 730 it needs to soak at this temperature for four hours so type is soak soak interval is four hours which is 240 minutes ELP will ignore and we'll add another segment this time the diagram tells us to drop to our casting temperature and gives this a 630 degrees it's not bothered about the rate of drop so we can just step this down so type is step the step target is 630 ELP none and we'll add one last segment this last bit is just for me I'm going to allocate myself some time to get everything ready and I know what I'm like so I'll add a soak time of two hours which is plenty even for me so to exit the program level hold the two arrow buttons for 30 seconds and return to the main display so a program has been added but how do we run that program well I expected it to be easier than this to be honest and as yet I haven't found an easier way but here goes hold the two arrow keys for three seconds down arrow star down arrow to level p there's program one which is the one i want so up arrow and start up to turn run on now hold the two arrow buttons to execute the program and return to the main display it takes a few seconds whilst it thinks about things and it's saying soak 230 which is effectively what we asked it to do i'm surprised it didn't say step 230 and then soak 230 but ultimately it's the same thing in this case and the irritating green flashing light indicates that everything is on so the solid state relay will have triggered and the coils will have been energized and it works it takes a bit of getting used to but the cal 9500p allows me to convert my furnace into a burnout oven just one last tip remember to vent plaster for instance holds a lot of moisture which doesn't fully disperse until around 400 degrees celsius so i wedge a small flat bar under the lid 
until I reach 400. This venting helps extend the life of the coils. I just want to say guys that this video wouldn't have been possible without the support of my patrons. It's through their kind donations that I'm able to bring you builds like this. So if you think you can spare the price of a coffee each month, then please take a look at my Patreon account. And that's it folks, an electric furnace made into a burnout oven with a programmable PID for hundreds as opposed to thousands, which is a significant saving. I hope you enjoyed this one guys, take care and thanks for watching.